Singapore. Okay, unbelievable weapon. Absolutely. Singapore boys, we absolutely love it. Come on, up the tag. Let's do it for the Singapore. Today is the 3rd of June 2023, the time now is 3 o'clock, gonna be doing my first conditioning session. Joined this speed program with Edge of the Box mentoring, he's quite a well-known coach in the Singapore scene, got a good reputation, worked with a bunch of SPL players before and other professionals around the world. Get in my mobility work first, get the blood flowing, bit of sprints here and there. Then I'm gonna get on the treadmill in the gym and then end it off with stretching and mobility work. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. So the first exercise is four corners. So basically you're hopping in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction into the four corners, keeping your knees slightly bent and your feet together. Second exercise would be Ali Shuffle. So you wanna start with knees bent and feet shoulder width apart. I start with one foot in front and you drive your legs back and front like you're doing a jumping motion while swinging your arms at the same time. The next exercise would be taps. Obviously I'm using a mini football right here. Assuming an athletic position with knees bent one foot at a time to step your feet forward touching each foot and returning to a starting position and moving it as fast as possible while mimicking the running movement with your arm. Next exercise being single leg lateral hop, something that I really picked up on when I was rehabbing my ankle injury a few months back. We are really want to focus on trying to swing your arms and we're also rotating with both right foot and our left. The next exercise being forward and backward hops. Obviously you want to minimize the amount of time of contact on the ground, hopping back and forward as quickly as possible, doing about 10 times and then obviously switching the feet and repeating that same process again. The last exercise for a while is wide out. So you want to have our feet starting at shoulder width and we want to move them in and out as fast as possible while using our arms to propel. Now we're moving on to our 5 to 10 to 5 sprints. So we start from the first cone, run all the way to the second, cut back to the first, sprint all the way to the last one, run all the way back, and then we cut back to the middle cone and sprint back. So for this exercise, we did it for 3 reps of 3 sets. So for the last portion of the workout was the edge of the box run and obviously it looked quite daunting on paper but as I got into the workout longer and longer it was progressively easier so yeah. Ended off the session with some mobility work like fire hydrants where we did 5 reps on each side for 3 sets. And finally wrapped up the session with some foam rolling, with different muscles, and a bit of static stretching as well. Today is the 4th of June, 2023. The time now is 3.41pm. Making my way to team training right now, up in Christchurch Secondary School. Looking forward to it. Training starts at around 4.30 I think. I put in a shift and yeah. Let's get to work. Let's go. Like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. To stay, cause the flames will burn us. I thought you were the one for me. That's why I gave you everything. How would you close by the stormy seas? Oh, you meant the world to me. Kiss your head when you cry for me. Training session done, back home, had my dinner at my grandma's place. Um, the time now is 
9.47 p.m. Yeah, I'm gonna run through my thoughts about the training session. Today we worked a lot of off the ball movement, so having that sort of connection with our midfield partner, making the runs in behind and timing it. A lot to do with understanding of the game, football IQ, timing and whatnot. So I thought it was really good. Obviously, we started off the session with rondos, then we went into a small version of making runs in behind. And then after that, we scaled it up to a three versus five possession game. So in that situation, we were trying to penetrate through the back line and whatnot, which at the start, we were having a little bit of trouble with. Obviously, the coach gave us a few pointers here and there and whatnot and got us to think about making the runs in behind as well. You know, adapting to what we had learned earlier into a more game-like situation. And obviously, once that first phase falls through, let's say we don't get the ball through the defensive line, then we'll play it out wide for the cross. So working on the timings of our runs in that transition phase as well. A lot of that and a lot of running. Fitness wise, definitely still needs a lot of work. Struggling when the intensity is there, but it's good signs that I can tell that compared to the first session, I'm getting better. Seems like most likely in this team, if they do sign me, I will be playing in an attacking midfielder role slash center midfielder role which is not what I expected, but it is what it is. I have to adapt to the situation and learn to get better. And then end of the session, they did some free kick routines and then the coach also got me to do some shooting as well. Wanted to see my technique and gave me some feedback with regards to that. Very, very happy with today's session. Gonna do some editing for the match highlights. I haven't had time to do that for the previous friendly game and whatnot. So I'm gonna go work on that right now. On the way to the gym right now, the time now is 7.22 p.m. Came back from my morning shift. Today we're gonna to be working on my hamstrings pretty much. Strengthening them, pretty much a strength about the thing session. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna put in this work and then see how it goes. If I can get some footage in the gym, I will do that. So yeah, let's go. Training session done. Hamstrings are feeling the burn a little bit. Really working on that hinge movement and whatnot. Strength and power session done. I'm gonna go home, get a bit of a stretch in, have some dinner, and then go from there. So yeah, let's go. Today is the 7th of June, 2023. The time now is 7.33. Just got back home. Relax for a little bit after my work and now I'm gonna go downstairs and do my speed training program. Obviously for today's session, we're gonna be working on acceleration and change of direction. I'm gonna go downstairs, get this session going and hopefully it's a good one. So yeah, let's go. So from this point forward, obviously we had already done our warm up, doing dynamic mobility exercises and our warm up activation. So now from here on forward, we will be working on different dynamic exercises for the workout. So for all the speed training exercises, we have these standard speed drills that we focusing on technique and form that are essential for every speed workout that we do, whether it's focusing on acceleration, change of direction, or max velocity.
this next portion of the workout we are doing some learning drills so obviously these are specific to acceleration and change of direction Moving on, we are also focusing on the execution of our acceleration from these two exercises, the kneeling acceleration and also the intensive shortcuts for change of direction. Finally, to end off the workout, we focus on the loading aspect, so through resisted bound and resisted lateral runs. Training session done. Time now is 9.41 p.m. Uh, I spent close to two hours doing this training session. Mainly because I wasn't very familiar with a lot of the movements and whatnot. So getting to understand that and trying to execute the moves is really what took a good chunk of the time. Enough said, gonna head back upstairs, need to jump in the shower, have a quick dinner. And then I'll have my mentoring call with Rory from Edge of the Box Mentoring. So yeah, let's get going. It's already really late. I have my mentoring call at 10.30. So I have about slightly over 45 minutes to get ready and whatnot. So yeah, let's go. Today is the 10th of June 2023, the time now is 10.54 a.m. Decided to sleep in a little bit, had a bit of a day trip yesterday. Getting back to work, today we are going to be working on max velocity. This is the second speed training session that I'm doing this week. Tomorrow I do have a game as well, so hopefully this will be a good sort of warm up. But yeah, let's get right into it, let's go. So for this workout, we're focusing on max velocity as for their dynamic mobility, warm activation, and dynamic exercises, they are exactly the same as the acceleration and change of direction workout. So I only included specific exercises that are relevant to max velocity today. Training session done. Time now is 1.12 p.m. Spent two hours and 10 minutes this time. Not happy with the amount of time I spent doing the training. Quality was a little bit better today, getting to understand the movements and whatnot. But in saying that, still need to learn a lot of the things. That's why it took longer than I would like. Gonna head upstairs, jump in the shower, and then have some lunch, and we'll go from there. So yeah, let's go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched it all the way to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do let me know in the comments below what sort of ideas or things you want me to film, whether you want me to show a little bit more of my personal life, my training routines, pre-match routines, anything like that. I hope that this video was quite educational. Learning about sprinting and you know trying to improve my speed and whatnot is an essential part of my game. So I felt like embarking on this journey is definitely something that would not only help me with my pre-season training when I go to Spain, but also just to make myself a better athlete as a whole. Next week's video, there will be Sunday League game highlights. It should be out. Again, a quick shout out to Rory from Edge of the Box Mentoring. He has been fantastic. I've worked with him already at the point of recording right now for two weeks. It's 
been absolutely brilliant yeah go and check him out link will be in the description uh but yeah appreciate the love and support on the video so far if you haven't watched any of the old videos go check out the playlist now without further ado cue the outro nobody believes in you you've lost again and again and again the lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream reviewing it every day and say to yourself it's not over until i win I'll be with us. Take that.